Hello, welcome to a new episode. You've seen by the title of what this is. It's also a magic dress. So I'm just going to put this on without the uh, thing. It's not over there. It's not over there. There we go. It's not over there. So I'm going to put this on. Something's not right here. Something's turns it right. Wonder what it is. This feels better. Now, uh, for a cosplay which I'm going to go right out there. I'm going to go. I'm going to go where no man has gone before. I just quoted Star Trek, but I did it wrongly. Uh, sorry, Star Trek fandom. I really bugged that one up. Um, so yeah, this is a this is my furthest out cosplay yet. I mean, I'm I'm always doing like a clone trooper or a gun or a doctor or an assassin. I'm gonna just go completely new. I'm I'm cosplaying Anna from Frozen. I will be doing this in a when is it October. I'll be doing this in October Comic Con because I'll be going to the one in May hopefully. Uh, I'll probably be going to that again as Anakin Skywalker or my Commander Fox. I'm yet to show you that entire costume. Uh, for for the uh, dress itself, for a thirty pound dress, I guess this is what you get. The corset design is off. I mean. It's completely different to what it looked like in the movie, but then again, they tr the company really tried to check. The company really tried to master up. It's like when you trip over and you, d but you don't trip over. You just make it look like you were supposed to do that on the pavement, or, or like um. You, you know when you like drop something, but you made it look like you meant to drop it. Yeah, it's like that. The uh the dr the bottom of the dress I'd say they've got it pretty accurate they're missing a couple of things or a couple of things were different the co the dress design only goes around the front as there is nothing on the back and the same with the corset but then again the corset didn't have anything on the back did it if it did just let me know in the comments uh, the mesh as well on this I don't quite like the mesh design as it's really itchy I guess I'm gonna have to get used to that for cosplaying Anna. I will be getting a wig and stuff for this, ju just to make it look a bit more feminine. As I'm not the most feminine looking guy in the world. The uh, size dress I had to get to the uh, thing to fit like a bloke size was a 20 to 22, which me which makes me sound which makes me sound absolutely massive. Uh, but it's the it's the only one that he would you know, think fit me properly and look right. I've heard a couple of people say that green looks nice on me, and you know what? Green actually kind of does. <laughs> I, I never took myself seriously when I said I was going to get this dress, but over time I realised, you know what, this is actually kind of nice, I like it, I'm going to go with it. And th this is what came out. I, th I think this is going to be uh, quite a big change to my cosplay and what I do. It's, it's, something, very di it's something very different, kind of breaking my normal, uh, what's the word, my normal, not routine, but my normal style. Instead of like going full Star Wars, Doctor Who, Assassin's Creed, I'm gonna go with Frozen. I mean, it's a cultural phenomenon, and I bloody love it. Read read the book as well. No one's good as the film. Uh, there's not much really to say on the dress except this glittery stuff. It's it's not nice. It's kind of a little uh, sticky in some areas. I mean, there are parts of the dress that are still stuck together, like on the bottom of the skirt, like the circle design thing. It's still stuck. Uh, the bead thing quite nice, and they've got like this. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's like this. Um, what is that? It's like a. Uh, it's like, you know those. Uh, you know those like shiny circle bead things you used to have at primary school. Yeah, they've come kind of done that all the way up here, and it looks nice up until it breaks right at the top of here. It could have gone all the way round. So that would look really nice, but I guess for thirty quid, this is what you get. <laughs> So for a complete and utter change to what I'm doing, I'd say I've made a very good choice. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.